what is going up guys so in today's video we are going to be talking about a basic day trading and investing term called float all right so if you guys don't know what float is float is pretty much the number of shares that the company is offering so that's the short definition here's the uh, longer one so float refers to the number of outstanding shares available to trade when, it, when the company did their initial IPO, they released shares. That number is typically the float, although there are three ways the number of shares can change. The float is equal to the supply level. Stocks with limited supply and high demands are the ones that move up or down the fastest. So this part right here is also known as the stocks that we trade. Um, they're most likely penny stocks or very cheap common stocks. Um, so more simply, the number of shares that are free to trade in the open market. Um, so what's better, a high float or a low float? You know, that's a um, 100% opinionated question. And, you know, low float is better for active traders these types of stocks make bigger moves because there are less shares out there so when the so when the demand is high for that stock if they have 20 million shares and they have um a ton of people trading it like 10 million that stock's going to jump you know 100% or something crazy rather than a stock like a high float which is one that would be like Ford or one of these blue stocks blue chip stocks you know where they have millions upon millions upon millions hundreds of millions of shares so when they get a ton of volume it doesn't affect the stock too much but so low float are better for those active traders those day traders those swing traders and high float stocks are better for long-term investing um, such as pretty much retirement, saving for a house, saving for school. You know, these are the stocks that uh, everybody should be buying. And then these ones, these low float stocks tend to be the ones that are a little harder to trade. You have to study the market, but everybody can do it. Um, so that's pretty much what float is. So float is pretty much the number of shares that are free to trade in the open market. So that's it, though. I hope everybody um, enjoyed this episode here on Float. Uh, please sure to like, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys like to trade low float or high or high float stocks better. Um, I want to know. So that's it, though. Remember to always stay happy, stay positive. I hope everybody has a fantastic rest of the day and rest of the weekend and rest of the week. Whatever, whenever you guys watch this. So take care, guys.